this is going to be another makeup tutorial and I'm excited to show you this because I'm just playing with bright colors, um, kind of inspired by spring summer to be honest. I just wanted to bring the bright colors out and start playing with them. So today's tutorial I'm going to be using some new stuff that I haven't used it and showed you guys. So I'm using two of my Lime Crime palettes. So I'm using these and I'm also using a Lime Crime liquid eyeliner and I'm also using a Lime Crime lipstick and for some reason I wanted to hold everything with one hand. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial so if you want to see how I achieved it please keep on watching. <sighs> Nothing's working out today. Why? So the first thing what the I did is that I applied my MAC paint in bare canvas all over my eyelid and also on the lower lash line. I'm also going to use a little bit of my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and I'm just going to put that on my eyelid because I do want that purple color to stand out a little bit more. I'm just going to blend it away with my fingers. So today's colors is going to be interesting. I'm playing around with two palettes that I got from Lime Crime and I'm so excited to show you the pigmentation of these. Um, I absolutely just love them. So I'm, I am going to be using uh, three colors from the Aquatina palette and I'm also going to be using two colors from the Antoinette palette. First color I'm going ahead and take is this beautiful purple color and this is called uh, Pearl Pearl. Um, it has a pearl and then a dash P L E. So yeah, and I'm gonna take it with my 239 brush from MAC and I'm just going to pack this color all over my eyelid and you guys can see I dipped my brush just once in the color and this is how pigmented this stuff is so I'm just going to pack that everywhere and then I'm just gonna clean my brush with a towel that I have next to me and I'm just gonna flip my brush sideways and I'm going to start blending this color into my crease. Next I'm going to be taking my 217 brush from MAC and I'm going to dip it in this darker purpley blue color and this one it's called Nutilis Prime and it kind of sounded like a transformer color but uh, <laughs> I'm just going to take a little bit of that color and I'm going to start play, applying it into my crease area and also kind of the outer corners of my crease. And I just realized I haven't opened the other light of my room so I'll be right back. I'm just going to take a little bit of that color again. I took it very lightly at first because it's extremely pigmented and I'm just going to build it up from there. Next I'm going to be taking my Antoinette palette and I'm going to take this lilac color and this is called Ribbonesque. I'm going to take it with the same brush, apply it right on top of that darker color just to give it a bit more definition. I'm going to take my 239 brush again and with that first purple I applied and I'm going to repack it on my eyelid just to make it stand out a bit more. It got blended away a little bit with the dark colors I put on top of it, so I'm just going to reapply this on my eyelid. For the lower lash line now, I'm going to be taking a bright green liner. This is uh, one of the liners that I had a long time ago. It's one of the eyeliners that I bought when I first started off with makeup and it's still really good. And this is from Personal, it's actually a drugstore brand. And this one is called um, Audacious. So I'm just gonna take it out. I just poked my eye literally with that right now and apply it to my lower lash line and also in the waterline. Next, 
I'm going to be taking my 219 brush from MAC and I'm going to take this beautiful bright green color. This is called Seahorse Discourse. I'm going to take it and I'm going to apply it right on top of that lime green pencil liner that I did down here. In the tear duct area, I'm going to take this metallic gray color, and this is called Miraculous. These colors, I'm not going to lie, they do have hard spelling names. And I'm going to put this silver in the inner corners of my eye, which is the tear duct area. This is a fun part that I want to film for you guys. So I had bought this liner from Lime Crime as well and this is called Citrus and I love it because it's with a brush applicator and I literally forgot how easy to work with these brush applicators for myself but for you it might be easy too because I find you can really get that pointed wing liner with these kind of brushes. So I'm just going to go ahead and regularly just line my upper lash line with this and then I'm going to start putting some details on that liner. So I'm going to film the whole process for you guys but fast forwarding everything. So I have my liner done and if you want to make that lime liner to stand out even more you can always go ahead and reapply another coat once it's dried. So I'm just going to let it dry and I might go ahead and apply another coat on top of it because I really want it to be so so bright. So I'm going to go ahead and wait and I'll be back. <laughs> Alright so these dry a bit faster than I expected so I'm just going to go ahead and just put another layer. So I just find it because it becomes a bit more intense and I like it when it's a bit more brighter. So this is a white eyeliner that I have from Sila that I bought from Winners and this is called Snow. And I'm just going to take it and put a thin line under that lime green color. And I'm just going to wait until that dries up and I'm going to put another coat on top of it. Now for the black liner, I'm taking my favorite eyeliner ever. This is my Kat Von D tattoo liner that Cynthia got me for Christmas. Thanks, Sin. And I'm just going to go just reline the black liner, but just the outer liner. And just the outer, kind of like sketching the liner I did on top. So I'm just going to do that. Once that done, I'm just going to take that black, that black, that white liner again and just go over it. So that is it. So now I'm just going to go ahead and apply lashes. And the lashes I'm using, these are lashes that I got from iMats. I think from the Nigel um, stand. And this is in number one. And I'll apply some mascara. I'm going to be applying my Extreme Dimension 3D Black Mascara from MAC. I'll go ahead and apply all that on and I'll be back for the finished look. Yay, my mom joined me! Say hi, mommy. To Say everyone. hi, mommy. <laughs> love you. I love you. Alright, so this is the finished look. It's time to show you guys what I used on my face. So for my face, I went ahead and I contoured. I normally start with lips. Why am I starting with contour now? For my lips, I went ahead and I used a Lime Crime lipstick that I am loving. It's, oh, God. 
So for lips, I went ahead and I used a Lime Crime lipstick. Let me just put this together so you can see how cute the packaging is on this lipstick. It is so cute. It has a unicorn. And yes, I just chipped my nails, you guys. It's the most annoying thing ever. That's why I get my nails done, but I'm waiting. It's I'm getting them done in two in a week, next week. Yeah, I'm excited about that. This is a Lime Crumb lipstick in Chinchilla, and I absolutely love, and I really wanted to wear it with this look. I know it's too much purple, but um, there is nothing too much for me, so that's why I wanted to wear this. But it's really nice also if you want to uh, blend it with some nude lipstick, it'll give you a beautiful effect. And then I went ahead and I contoured my face, and I used my MAC Pro Pan palette to do that. So I use Sculpt, um, I use Sculpt and Definitive, and then I use, um, I think this is, let me just see what's the name of this, um, Accentuate to highlight under my eye. So I use these three to do that. And then for blush, I added um, a blush that I've been obsessed with, and this is called a Prism. Prism for MAC and this is how the color looks like. It's just a cute uh, brownish, it has a pink undertone to it but it's more uh, bronzy than pink so I've been obsessed with this a lot lately and my hair is annoying me. Ugh, I want to shave it off. Shave it like all off. All... Oh, it's actually nice if I put my hair in a ponytail with this look. I had a lot of fun doing this look. Um, I just wanted to play with this awesome liquid liner that I have from Lime Crime and also play with Lime Crime eyeshadows and lipstick. So I'm just so happy about how the colors turned out to be like and the pigmentation of it is just crazy. I think I will be doing a tutorial talking or like just reviewing Lime Crime products in general. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, please leave them all in the comments down below. I'll try to get you guys a as soon as possible. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye everyone.